Hey guys, Mitch here at Super Platinum Achievement and Nintendo had their June Nintendo Direct today. Uh, they surprised us by announcing it only a day in advance and we got that early, early this morning. So we'll start out, uh, but first guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below after the video. If you liked what you saw, give us a big thumbs up by hitting that like button and uh, share with your friends as well. So they started out the Direct uh, talking about uh, the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. It's two packs. Uh, they said there would be more information on those to come soon. So I'm sure they're going to do a separate Pokemon Direct to talk about that and uh, maybe another game or two. Um, that's how they started out. Next is a brand new Sonic game, Sonic Superstars. And for the first time, we get to play local co-op up to four people. Uh, in a Sonic game. This is a side-scroller game, of course, and it comes out fall of this year. Um, and like they said beforehand, this focuses on mainly titles coming out this year for the Nintendo Switch. Another game coming out this year in Holiday is Palea, and it's um, kind of a sim-like game. It's a farming simulator, a living life simulator. You know, looks really fun, but that's such a theme now with the Nintendo Switch. I feel like there are so many farming living life simulators that they're just kind of all blending together at this point but that was one they talked about and then another game that was actually first announced uh, during the xbox showcase is uh, persona 5 tactical that is coming to the nintendo switch and it's coming november 17th uh, then another one coming out uh, said to be based on and kind of uh, inspired by Saturday morning cartoons. A really cool look to it. That's Myth Force coming out 2023. Um, looks like it could be a really good game. And then after that, they talked about the new Splatfest coming up in July from the 14th to the 16th. It's ice cream themed. So you have three different types of ice cream and uh, you battle to see which flavor is better by choosing your team. So uh, like we kind of said before this Nintendo Direct uh, started, we talked about it in our prediction video yesterday, that a lot of this would be just smaller filler games and we wouldn't get any heavy hitters we'd get ports we'd get smaller games and maybe some remakes remasters here and there and that's kind of what the theme of this whole thing was uh next is a new detective pikachu game which you know is a a bigger deal for the most part but it's not your huge deal that's detective pikachu returns uh, i don't think we got a release date on that uh, and then the one that a lot of people are really excited for uh, shares the release date uh, with Persona 5 Tactical, and that's the Super Mario RPG remake coming out November 17th. A lot of people absolutely love Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo, and this is the remake with updated graphics for the Nintendo Switch. And if you like those games, you better be excited about this one because it's probably the best in the uh, Mario RPG series. Uh, then after that, they said, you know, we're not done with uh, Mario games, but this time Princess Peach gets her own story. And it looked like a side-scrolling Peach game. We didn't get a title. We didn't get a, uh, much of a release date. We got a release window of 2024, but we are getting a brand new Peach game with, with no title. Um, after that, another remake, more like a remaster, but Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is getting updated visuals for the Nintendo Switch next next year. Uh, that game, if you don't know, was the sequel to Luigi's Mansion, and it came out exclusively on the Nintendo 3DS. So I'm actually looking forward to that one. I'll probably get it. I love the Luigi's Mansion's games, so I'll probably grab that one as some filler. And then as we predicted, we would get a big name port, uh, and that big name is actually three games, and that's the Arkham Trilogy with all DLC included. Now, the Batman Arkham games are considered by many to be in the you know top 10, maybe top 20 games of all time, and um, a lot of people are going to be really excited to play these on your Nintendo Switch in the fall of this year. Another game coming, uh, another small, you know, RPG strategy card game coming out called Gloomhaven uh, that comes out September 18th and the thing I noticed about this one is I thought the visuals looked horrendous I understand it's just a you know top-down board style strategy game but it looked like that movement on the the playing board was at three frames a second it looked really really bad but then another game that uh, we kind of jokingly predicted, but, you know, we're not surprised it actually showed up, was Just Dance 2024 <laughs> coming out October 24th. So 
I, I don't know who keeps buying these games, but obviously they're selling well because they come out every single year from Ubisoft. Uh, then another game that actually looks like it could pretty, be pretty cool, uh, <clears throat> another you know small RPG. It's called Silent Hope, coming out October 3rd. That looks like it could be interesting. Looks like a unique storyline. Then another farm simulator, Life Sim, uh, called Fay Farm. It is a Switch exclusive. Comes out September 8th to the Nintendo Switch alone. And, you know, like I said, at this point, all those, you know, farming sims are getting kind of muddied together. Uh, another game that we already knew was coming that's not a big deal is Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 coming out October 19th. A lot of these games are coming out in October. It's insane. October, uh, or September, October, November is where most of these are coming out. Uh, next is Manic Mechanics. Uh, looks like a mechanics version of Overcooked, so that could be fun playing with friends. Um, looks basically the same, only it's mechanics instead of cooking. Uh, after that, we talked about the DLC for Mario Rabbids Sparks of Hope, The Last Spark Hunter. That is available today, and we also talked about that, how Nintendo is really good at giving us dates or saying it's available right after the showcase, and they did that actually with a couple things. Uh, next is a Pokemon knockoff uh, Dragon Quest monster monsters the Dark Prince to me looks just like a Pokemon style game and uh, I, I I don't know I don't see the appeal in it if you're a Pokemon style game fan why not just get Pokemon but I don't know maybe it'll do really well and then a game the only game they confirmed they were going to be talking about in this Pikmin 4 comes out July 21st and it looks really cool. Uh, the Pikmin games are a lot of fun. They're puzzle, strategy, not strategy, but you know, puzzle style games. Uh, they're great to just sit and relax and mess around. Visuals are actually usually pretty good on them. And this one looks to be no exception. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. And a lot of people like, you know, got the Switch as their first Nintendo console and haven't played the other Pikmins. Well, a while ago, they did release Pikmin 3 Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch, so you can play that. And today, they also announced that Pikmin 1 and 2 are getting HD remasters for the Nintendo Switch, also coming out, or have come out, today. So if you want to play all the Pikmin games, those are available right now. You can play every single Pikmin game on the Nintendo Switch uh, once Pikmin 4 launches in July. Another one that we kind of thought was coming, <clears throat> we didn't talk about it in our predictions, but we kind of just figured, is the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1. That comes out once again in October. You get the uh, first three Metal Gear uh, Solid games, as well as the older versions for the uh, regular Nintendo and Super Nintendo. A lot of people are going to be excited to replay those on your Switch. Then we got Vampire Survivors, a very retro, uh, you know, 16-bit or 8-bit really looking game for uh, surviving vampires that comes out August 17th then we got uh, Headbangers Rhythm Royale coming out once again October October 31st uh, where you're a, a pigeon and it's a rhythm based game so another really random style game that I don't think is gonna sell a lot uh, then we got Piggy, uh, Penny's Big Breakaway coming early 2024, and this game looks like it could be really cool. It's a, uh, a platformer game. I do love platformers, and it looks like it's got some cool mechanics. You use your yo-yo to get around um, and all that, so that could be a really good game if done well. Um, then, once again, we got uh, Mario Kart Wave 5 of the Booster Course, which includes a new track. We get Petey Piranha uh, Wiggler and uh, Kamek as new characters, and that is sometime this summer coming to the Nintendo Switch. You can buy that separately, or it comes if you are a member of the Nintendo Switch Online. Uh, then we got the Star Ocean uh, is getting the second one remade. Star Ocean, the second story R, um, coming November 2nd. After that, we got a new WarioWare game, WarioWare Move It, coming November 3rd. I know a lot of people really do enjoy those. They're party games, you know, fun for family. A bunch of, they call them micro games, including these, similar to Mario Party, but WarioWare does it a little bit differently. There's hundreds of these games on WarioWare. So that's going to be fun for a lot of people, but to me, there's just so many Wario games out now. WarioWare games out. It's getting a little repetitive. Uh, then they also announced that their Nintendo Live event is going to be September 1st through the 4th in Seattle. Uh, that is a free event. You can just sign up to get tickets for it. Um, there's qualifying things through Mario Kart and Smash Brothers as well that will get you tickets. So if you want to attend that live in Seattle, jump on that on the Nintendo Live website. 
Then another thing we did predict is Tears of the Kingdom is getting two additional amiibo coming out this holiday with Zelda and Ganondorf coming out as additional amiibo figures. I won't be surprised if they uh, continue to release more. Like we said in our last video, they've got eight for Breath of the Wild and they've only released three for Tears of the Kingdom. And then uh, they ended it with a game that we didn't really expect, but I guess a lot of people did predict would be coming. It's not the heavy hitter that it should be, but it's a big enough title to, you know, tied everybody over and that's super mario bros wonder a brand new side scrolling mario game coming to the nintendo switch in october october 20th to be exact and that's how they ended the showcase so it really went how we expected it was not a whole lot of huge things it was pretty good it was actually more than i thought it would be but it's a lot of filler. There's not those heavy hitters. We didn't get a new Donkey Kong game. We didn't get a new uh, 3D Mario. We didn't get Metroid Prime 4 updates. Um, none of that because they're going to be holding that for the next Nintendo console, which we think is going to be uh, coming most likely the first half of 2024 is what we're thinking. It could be pushed to the second half, uh, but Nintendo did say they don't plan on releasing a new console this fiscal year, which means it would be late April at the soonest of next year. So that's what we think is going to happen, that all of this is filler until that next console comes out next year. We think this is the last full year of the Nintendo Switch. So let us know what you guys think. What were you expecting to see? Were you uh, disappointed? Were you excited? What was your favorite thing? We love to hear about it in the comments. The thing that I was once again kind of hoping to see that we didn't get because I thought it would be good filler is the uh, Zelda HD ports with Twilight Princess and Wind Waker coming over. Once again, they didn't come at this point. You know, I don't think they are going to come because this would have been the time to do it. Maybe they're going to bring them along. Uh, so you know end of next year but who knows at this point uh there's been so many rumors about them being finished but i don't even know anymore let us know what you guys think if you like this video don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and we hope to see you soon on super platinum achievement see ya